So here are some things that I wanted to um, share with you to help you get out of the negative mindset or um, you know, if you're feeling like you're not believing in yourself, to get you from not believing in yourself to believing in yourself so that you can start to see the results that you wanna see in your business. So the first thing that I wanted to share was, um, of course, changing your mindset. If your mind or if your head is not in the game, if it's not right, you need to work on changing it. Here are some things that you can do. Get up every day in the morning and start off with positive affirmations. Um, repeat to yourself that you're going to be the next top seller, that you are a top seller, you are a top recruiter, uh, you are an amazing trainer, um, you're providing great customer service, you're working for the best company in the world, um, you're selling the best products on the market. Repeat these things to yourself. You know, research your business, think about the company, think about the things that um, make this business and this company um, special to you because those are the things that are going to work better for you. These are the things that work for me. But, you know, whatever it is, find those things, write them down on a piece of paper or sticky note. Put it on two sticky notes, as a matter of fact. Put one next to your bed in the morning so you can see it in the morning and repeat it. Put another one in your car or in your notebook. For me, it's inside my tablet so that every time I open it up, I'll see it. And, you know, repeat that to yourself. Um, another thing you can use is your dream board. Put your dream board somewhere where you could see it so that could, you know, motivate you to keep going and keep pushing forward. Go to... Um, events that get you more connected with the business because a lot of times I'll be honest with you I listen to other people's stories and that motivates me when I hear about what someone else was struggling with and what they came out of um, and you know what they were able to accomplish that motivates me and you know when I'm going through the positive things and trying to find the positive the positive things in life I sometimes will think about those things to say you know what if that person did it and if that person overcame then I can do it too so you know Immerse yourself and surround yourself with positive um, positivity. One thing that I noticed was um, when we used to have district meetings, we used to have a district office, we don't anymore, but I noticed that there was a difference between the type of meetings that we had. Sometimes we, have, we used to have a meeting and one person would come in with a negative story. And then everybody else would come in like, oh yeah, the shipping, the handling, the customers, this is that, that. And all of a sudden the meeting just brought it down to another level. And we all came out feeling like, Ugh. you know, we were unproductive. We didn't really brainstorm well. The meeting just got focused on this negative, th this negativity. But on the flip side, sometimes we got together and one person shared an idea, you know, they got a new customer today. And another person would come out and say, yeah, they got a customer who shared a brochure with their coworkers and brought back a $100 order or a $300 order. And when we have meetings like that and we're sharing the positivity, not only did you come out feeling great, but we were also able to brainstorm some amazing ideas in those meetings because we were in this atmosphere where we were like, yeah, 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 let's do this, let's do this. And you know, the feedback was just amazing. So, you know, get yourself into atmospheres of productivity. Get yourself out of negative atmospheres. Get yourself away from the negative people. Um, and get yourself, and this is the second tip that I have, get yourself motivated by plugging into, in, plugging in with other people, other representatives, other leaders, um, other professionals, in, whether it's within this business or outside. Um, as long as they're positive people who will fuel you and move you forward. A lot of times you hear us representatives talking about listening to people like um, Les Brown, um, Zig Ziglar, um, Darren Hardy, um, I can't even think of all the names, but when you're listening to positivity, it'll also help to change your outlook and change where you're, you're moving and going because when you find yourself in the dark, in the dark negative atmosphere, in the same way as you, when you're in a meeting with negative people, it'll start to bring you down. But when you surround yourself with positivity and you really start to believe it and repeat it to yourself, you'll start to see positivity start to come through in other areas of your life. One example that I wanted to give you to think of was, um, I don't know why I keep using sports examples lately, but have you ever been to a game where the team is losing, they're not doing so well, their points aren't as high, then all of a sudden the crowd starts to get hyped, they start to chant, they start to you know stomp their feet and make noise and really cheer, and it changes the tide of the game. That's because the you know the team can feel the energy. They start to believe in themselves again. They they get hyped too, just from hearing the crowd behind them. So when you get plugged in, you get connected. The people that you're connecting with, they become like your coaches and the crowd to cheer you on and get you over the humps when you're feeling negative. 
for me when I first started I um, when I decided that I was gonna work this business seriously I got plugged into local district meetings I was in the office at least twice a week <laughs> I was meeting with the manager on my own I'm meeting watching YouTube videos with other leaders um, if I can get five minutes of someone's time to ask them a question I would um, you know do things like that classes webinars conference calls rep fest which is coming up in August oh my gosh for all those representatives I know the energy is gonna be sickening and I can't wait to get into that crowd of all those people all those representatives to hear their stories and their motivation and their success if you have not this is like the side plug <laughs> if you have not registered for rep fest yet March 1st is the last day for early registration you can save a good couple of dollars just by registering early get yourself into rep fest if you're not feeling motivated if you've got your one foot in the door and one foot out get to rep fest when i went to my first avon conference i was like i'm going to all the avon conferences because i came back so fueled and energetic and with so many ideas every conference i go to i come back with a list of ideas that i'm going to implement when i get back home and that energy that i have i get back and i talk to my team and you know it translates over to them and it really reignites my business and the businesses of others just from you know dipping into that well of positivity at a, at a conference so if you can get to rep fest i'm done i digress but um <laughs> surround yourself with positive people um and and just get plugged in start to listen start to do recordings and trainings avon university is also a great resource for you if you're not doing the trainings then i i don't know <laughs> then i don't know if you really are serious about being successful because the training classes are what will teach you how to succeed, teach you the means and methods to growing your business. And um, what I love about Avon, one of the my positive affirmations is that I love that Avon invests so much into providing great training for its representatives. They talk to other representatives in the field um, and they get them to come back and give tips and trainings to us. Um, and now, when I started, they didn't have YouTube like they do now, but you know, you can get on to YouTube and watch all the videos from all these representatives. Um, for our team, we have training calls every other week. That's a great time for you to get in and hear from other representatives, hear the tips and trainings for ideas, hear what hot products are coming out, cheer on and motivate other representatives to see what other representatives are doing. I don't just go through um, team recognition for the sake of reading names off the paper. I go through to recognize the people that are actually working hard, but just because your name isn't being called, it's not for you to say, okay, well, that's that other person, whatever, it's recognition again. And I, I know some of you guys skip over the recognition part because you're like, okay, well, it's not me. But the recognition is also for you to say, okay, well, you know, she does that. She lives two blocks from me. Um, we're both working full-time jobs. We both have children. We both, you know, this, that, and the other. We're both in the same situation. If she could do it, then I can do it too. Listen to the stories of other representatives and use that as motivation to fuel your drive and your energy and your determination. So those are my tips for you know getting out of your negative mindset. Just keep practicing, keep working towards it. No, it's not gonna happen overnight, but it will happen and you will begin to see a change if you just keep moving forward consistently. If you practice the positive affirmations and surround yourself with positivity and positive people, there are gonna be times where you don't feel um, 100% where you're, you know, your energy is low, something bad happened to you. It happens to all of us. That is why it's so important that you surround yourself with others so that in the same way that you can lean on them, they can lean on you and the both of you can encourage each other and you know work walk together in this road to success. So I'm here for you guys, reach out to me as well. Um, one of the things that we used to do with our team is when we got together, to avoid um, you know just constant negative talk, we would say, okay, you know, if you have a problem, it's a great atmosphere for you to bring your problem forward, but bring it forward with the intention and the mindset of getting um, different opinions from your peers and getting ideas for how you could come out of that so that we don't have meetings where everybody's just coming and dumping all the negative things, but you could come with a problem and get an idea for how you can improve that. So, you know, you come with the open mind. That's what we're here for. That's what our team is for. Connect with all of us. Um, our team has group, multiple group pages that you could jump onto to get different ideas. Jump in, jump on there, read through other people's ideas and experiences. I've been with this company for a long time and I'm still learning. So if you're just starting, don't think that you know everything. <laughs> don't think that it's not gonna be valuable to you. It's a resource for all of us. So get yourself plugged in, get yourself connected and start working towards your success. Looking forward to seeing you guys at the top.
Bye.